I am Storm, and you can too. And today is the greatest day that happens every single year. What could I possibly be talking about? What on earth could I be referencing? Hmm. Still don't get it. Ah! It's Daytona Day. Today is going to be the Daytona 500. It is the kickoff to the NASCAR 2022 season. A season of which there is plenty of change. And I mean plenty. New car. Brand new tire. Brand new rim size. Brand new cockpit profile, brand new drivers, brand new paint schemes, brand new number placement, brand new tracks, brand new fans, and last of all, maybe a brand new champion, maybe a brand new Daytona 500 winner. I don't know, but we're going to find out today, aren't we? Exciting day ahead. But not the only reason why I would make today's video. Sure, I could make a video and, uh, you know, Daytona, Daytona, Daytona. But I do want to talk about something else. I have been a productive mofo this weekend. I have gotten after it for a total of like 45 minutes. My old bedroom fan... It had a single hanging uh, LED light bulb and four blades. It had no dish to uh, illuminate, no glass dish. And uh, quite honestly, the thing was dusty, full of cobwebs, and pretty ugly and unsightly. And it went really, really well with this room because I really need to paint it. But that's not the case anymore. My sales rep, Troy, he was getting rid of a bedroom fan. He asked me if I wanted it. Yeah, you could say that. You could say that. So anyway, the reason it took me so long to hang it is because I don't know why back in the day and uh, you know 70s 80s but there was an affinity for flathead screws over phillips and like every single thing that they did it was always flatheads maybe because it was easier to manufacture them or maybe because honestly phillips weren't that popular i don't know but i know this i could not use any kind of automated device I had to use by hand. So it took me forever to screw out flathead screws with, you know, <laughs> I'm a tall guy, but I'm not tall enough to reach the ceiling. So I had to stand on a chair, which meant that now I'm too tall. So twisting and contorting, getting myself into the proper shape to twist flathead screws out of their housings. I got it done and don't get me wrong. I, you know, I'm no electrician, but when I saw that there was a hot and a cold that was really easily tied into this old fan, I knew I was in for a pretty easy rig. So naturally, I got after it. I, I mean, I, I did what I needed to do. Instead of uh, instead of like a hot into a hot and a neutral and carrier into a neutral and carrier this fan actually had a ground into its housing and a ground that tied into the neutral carrier so my hot is with my hot and then there's a like a blue wire which i'm not sure what it does but i tied that into the neutral carrier and neutral carriers inside of the ground along with the neutral carrier that is in the house. I know that makes a ton of sense and I probably worded it wrong, but basically your red wire 
went up and met your red wire, boom, wire cap. Your black wire and your green wire went up, tied in with another green wire, tied into the black wire, tied into a blue wire, and a big wire cap. And that is all positioned inside that fan. Then the housing goes over top of it, twist that into place, and lock her in. And then just a test to make sure that it actually worked. I have, well, might as well just show it off. Yeah. 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 One, two, three. Yeah. There's three bulbs, not one. They got glass protect or not even glass. These are wire mesh protectors. Pretty cool. Uh, the fan blades actually on the opposite side were like a dark red color. And the other side was black. Okay. So up next, in this bedroom, that's my wife's room, because I sleep so hard and so loud that I would wake her up, but uh, basically what's going to happen there is I'm going to take her bedroom fan out, and that is also going bye-bye. This guy... I inverted the fan blades because they were drooping so bad. But ever since I did my bedroom, I'm starting to wonder if maybe the proper thing here is to get new blades and new arms because I don't I know for a fact the arms are not like some of them are just above the glass and others of them are pretty raised. So I assume that means that the arms are bent and the fan blades are warped. I just twisted them inside out so that way they would go straight. But the problem is, is she likes the darker blades and these are the lighter blades. So it's not nearly as good, you know. So then the question becomes, okay, well, once I do that, what next? Well, this boob light, I'm taking that down and I'm replacing it with one of these boob lights and uh, that leaves two other lights this guy which you know the 60s called they want their freaking light back and then my outside light which I'm not gonna open up my door you just got to take my word for it the storm door came open as you can see right here from Duratio 2.0 ripped that out of the wall and then flung the door open and smashed my exterior light. So I need to replace that. I might do that next weekend um, just because Caitlin asked me not to spend a bunch of money this weekend. And uh, I really don't have a reason to replace it today. It still works. I really don't have a reason to replace it next weekend, but why not? Why not? So anyway, um, Daytona Day today, which means I'm going to watch the Daytona 500, which is uh, a little bit later on. Um, I've already showered, but I didn't do my hair, so of course my hair looks like this. I already had breakfast. I went to Burger King. So what? Sue me. I'm going to pound some water. Um, not going to lie to you, I really feel like I should do some sit-ups because my gut is uh, hanging over my waistband right now. I've been eating way too uh, unhealthy. But here's that downstairs ceiling fan and you'll notice that there's no, this light switch actually controls that right there. This one is on a constant. It's on demand. I want that gone. I don't like it. And then this little light right here runs on a switch that's in the kitchen. I kind of want to see about maybe replacing it on the, you know, on this wall, the interior. 
so that way I can have the kitchen be on one and this one be on another. But then this one right here also controls it. And this one goes to the garage. And like I said, this one goes to the light over top there, which we're going to replace that or rip that out. But I'd like this switch to do two L arm brackets right here in the corner, an L arm. And right here in this corner, an L arm, and then have snap lamps that go into place and turn on to illuminate this room a little bit better. Not just have this one arm bandit. So, yeah. Anyway, that's my um, plan, electrician's plan. Will it get done this year? Yes, I'm I'm positive, but uh, not this weekend, obviously. So, you know, as I make videos, hopefully these videos entail the amount of change that has gone on. I also want to do this, replace that with something else. I'd like to get another uh, straight line bracket and do cup lamps in here. So, uh, obviously, I've got a lot of updating that I want to do with the uh, lighting. Um, we're doing fans as we get them. And free is always good, so I'm not going to turn away a free fan. If anything, I'll, you know, junk it if I have to. But, yeah, other than that, I'm just... This is going to be a pretty good year for me and her when it comes to these little projects that we do. We'll see how it all goes, how it all shakes out, whatnot. But, uh, yeah, welcome back to my life. Um, hopefully I got some bigger changes ahead. Peace.